INFPs are a tangle of weird contradictions. They want to be understood, but have problems communicating their real concerns. They love solitude, but maybe not always. While contradictions seem to never end, it's also why INFPs are unique and interesting individuals. So, if you're an INFP or have one in your life, here are some INFP contradictions for you to ponder. But before we proceed, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more personality type videos. Here we go. 7. Weird Contradictions and Paradoxes of INFP Personality Number 1. INFPs are devoted friends but struggle to make friendships. I don't have any friends, an INFP might say. INFPs have difficulty making friends because they're looking for more than just companionship. They seek a connection. If they're uncomfortable and cautious with the people around them, INFPs appear awkward and aloof and isolate themselves. But once they find their tribe, INFPs let go of everything that holds them back. These dreamers open up, become extroverted, and bring depth to the table. They establish deep-rooted friendships people wouldn't expect. They are devoted to helping their friends out, and these gentle souls become your most selfless, loyal, supportive, and compassionate friends. Number 2. INFPs seem clumsy and floaty, but are also detail-oriented. INFPs' trickster function is extroverted sensing, or SE. That means INFPs are trying so hard to be aware of their physical surroundings, but can still slide and detach from it. INFPs bump their head, trip, or suddenly drop things. As an INFP, I can still get lost in places I already went to 10 times. That's why I carry map applications with me every single time. But while they're floaty at times, INFPs are the most detail-oriented people you'll ever meet regarding projects that are important to them. They're not entirely clumsy or careless, but they simply care more about their personal work and are deeply invested in making sure it's done right. They are perfectionists who love pouring their hearts into projects they find meaningful. Number 3. INFPs love autonomy, but they definitely need structure. Most of INFPs' strengths come internally. Intuition, creativity, compassion, and empathy. Most of the time, they want to work solo. And yes, they create wondrous projects when left alone. However, INFPs could be subject to procrastination and quickly lose motivation too. Because they rely on their feelings by default, it's easy to lose interest when a task no longer tickles their emotions and curiosity. While INFPs want freedom, they also need a structure and probably others who will enforce discipline on them. These dreamers need people or situations that will pull them out of their comfort zone. Number 4. INFPs could be either extremely sympathetic or wholly unconcerned. INFPs have two personas. One is compassionate, empathetic, and extremely supportive. But the other is being emotionally detached. To them, if a situation doesn't touch them emotionally and personally, they're indifferent about it. They rarely get riled up by their workmates' backstabbing gossip, politics, or any other issue that doesn't affect their daily lives. You see, INFPs can't wear other shoes when they don't understand, and they're nowhere curious about the context. However, to family and friends, no one beats INFPs' empathy. Even if everyone leaves and they are the only person remaining to help you, they will stay. Why? because INFP's sympathy is not based on other people. It's founded on how personally they took the situation and how much they understood your position. Number five, INFPs are daydream romantics, but are also cautious about real relationships. Admit it, if you're an INFP, you've idealized your crush, partner, or romantic life under a rose-tinted imagination. We love playing scenarios in our heads. However, the funny contradiction is it's nowhere similar when INFPs deal with romance in real life. When starting relationships, INFPs run at the speed of light because they feel awkward or afraid to show vulnerability. They don't want to open up too much to the wrong person. While they daydream about magical and lasting love, they can be avoidant and cautious about it. INFP relationships often start in a cryptic mind game until one day, the more they hide it, the harder it is to keep their bursting feelings. Number 6. Needing recognition but disliking attention when INFPs lead a group or performance to success, they need a little recognition. It makes them appreciate themselves more. But, funny enough, don't overdo your praises. They like a bit of validation that they're on the right path, but they don't like being in the spotlight for too long. Too much, and it enforces INFPs a sense of obligation where they would fear committing mistakes. 7. INFPs desire to be authentic with themselves, but they may not be so true to others. INFPs have a strong need to be authentic. 
If they can't be their true selves, it cages them and builds up agitation and anxiety. However, being authentic to themselves doesn't mean they have to be authentic with others, too. These idealists are so secretive that they will hide many parts of their lives, so private that they can effortlessly lie about their feelings, situation, plans, and perspectives. It's not that INFPs don't want people to know who they are, they just don't want people to know all of them. They don't want anyone else peeking into the corners of their personalities. In fact, revealing themselves too much is one of their worst fears. In conclusion, the INFP personality is a contradictory one, indeed. But such contradictions make them unique individuals who can offer significant values and philosophies to share with the world. Do you relate to the list too? If you do, share your comments down below. Thanks for watching!